Warning. Spoilers. Yeah. Hello. Welcome back to the sixth episode of Hyrule Science. In this series, I'm going to be analyzing every fusible item in Tears of the Kingdom. Today, we're going to be checking out Zonai devices a bit further, and their fusions with Minoru, the final sage. But first... Let's read some comments. A few people commented, y Yes, just a, just a few. That you can use cooking pots fused to arrows to break enemy armor easily. This isn't just for cooking pots, though. This applies to any hammer-type item, like lentil hooves. But it does make sense that many people commented it since cooking pots are far more abundant. Fable commented that stakes do have a limit, and it's based on how many times it's been stuck in a surface. In my first test of this, I removed and stuck a stake in the ground 80 times. The stake survived. So I thought, maybe you need to stake it in multiple different surfaces for it to disappear. During my second test, I did just that, dragging around a new stake and sticking it in various surfaces across the Sky Island. I did this for 15 whole minutes. At the end, the stake did not disappear. There could very well be a limit, but it's just extremely high. Please also keep in mind that large enemies can destroy stakes in the right situation, so I don't recommend placing these near them. Carlos mentioned that shock emitters attract lightning, which they do. They attract lightning regardless of if they're on or not, but don't rely on these too much though, since lightning can still target your gear. Carlamations, Arsleet, and a man of no reputation gave some useful info on steering sticks. While you are immune to fall damage while on one, after a few seconds of falling, the game will beat you off of steering sticks, obviously leaving you vulnerable. So these are really only good for short falls. You can also utilize these to get some bullet time on the spot, which can make fights like Lionel's easier. Mooj commented that hoverstone placements can be further away with longer range bows or weapons. It's not that much of a distance increase, but it is cool that the developers had long-range weapons in consideration for this. Yanma commented that lights can remove Gibdo armor. It would be cool if it did work, since it would give lights more use, but nope. Sad. McKenna Forrest, Tian Thomas, Hatman, and a few others commented that shield surfing on a fan shield will give you a boost while paragliding. For my testing with both fans and hover stones, this is not the case. When I was testing, sometimes I did get a bit of extra distance, but that's likely from timing the initial jumps better. In general, neither of these affect your distance covered when paragliding though. Fans and hover stones also don't slow your descent rate when gliding without moving. Ninja, Veggie, and Opulent commented that fans use less energy in water, and they do. You can even see when it changes from the normal drain rate to the water drain rate when placed in water. With a single fan, it lasts 1 minute 17 seconds in water to drain a battery, which is a 280% increase from the original 20 seconds. I'm not entirely sure if this stacks with the 30% decrease from attaching more of the same Zonai device to the same object, but if anybody wants to do the math for me, here's the data. I tested a few other Zana devices like wheels, but fans seem to be the only Zana device that gets this buff. Lastly, Plushy and Eccentric commented that stabilizers will cause boomerangs to not return. Neat. Thank you guys for commenting, by the way. I really appreciate it. Remember to share any facts you might have in the comments, as it helps me, other people, and the algorithm. I'd also like to remind everyone that if you're curious, I have a spreadsheet on all Hyrule Science data that I've covered, which will be linked in the description. And if you'd like some deeper insight into Zana devices, I highly recommend checking out the previous episode. Now, let's do some science. Minoru is a unique, writable construct with three fusion points, one on the back and two on the arms. These arms do a total of 40 damage by themselves. If you attack with a one arm constantly, you actually attack slightly slower. A better alternative is to swap from one arm to the next while attacking, resulting in a combo. She drains one battery every 55 seconds while walking on her, and before you ask, yes, the Zonite set does work for her. She even gets a little addition to her mask while wearing the helmet. She is equipped with a headlight in dark areas like caves, and can smash any ores in a single hit. She has a shield that soaks up pretty much any damage when riding her, and you are immune to fall damage. You can even ride on her when she's almost entirely underwater, although going too deep will kick you off. 
She strolls at a speed of 4 meters per second, which is slightly slower than Link's walking speed of 5 meters per second, and a lot slower than his sprinting speed, 9 meters per second. Fans on Minoru's arms shoot out air, which doesn't really do much more than attaching a fan to your shield or weapon. They drain at a rate of one battery every 10 seconds and last for around 70 seconds before disappearing. When used on her back, it gives a speed boost, doubling her speed from 4 to 8 meters per second. This drains one battery every 7 seconds and lasts for 66 seconds, roughly the same as her arms. The drain rate is likely added with her walking drain rate, so going forward I won't cover the drain rate for her back. Just assume that the drain rate is her arm drain rate combined with the walking drain rate. I would also like to mention that she gets a speed boost when you aren't on her. Link is too hefty for her, apparently. Wings do not drain any battery, obviously, and last for 10 hits before breaking on Minoru's arms. Where they really shine is on Minoru's back, granting a slow fall and gliding ability. This lasts the same duration as a normal wing, 1 minute 10 seconds before disappearing. It even does this when you're on flat ground for some reason. Carts on Minoru's arms create a gust of wind when attacking, and last for 10 hits, and that's about all it does. On her back, it does absolutely nothing. From here on, I won't mention the durability of items until something changes, since most seem to last for 10 hits. Balloons don't do much on Minoru's arms, but on her back, she can inflate it. This doesn't seem to lift her up at all, sadly, but when airborne, it does create a slow fall effect. This balloon even drains energy, at a rate of 1 battery every 40 seconds, and lasts for 1 minute 7 seconds before disappearing. Rockets, when used on Minoru's hands, will be sent flying, draining half of an energy cell. I'm not sure what the purpose of this is, since the tracking when aiming is absolutely terrible. On her back, however, she will be sent flying upwards. You do go slightly lower than when using a rocket shield, presumably for Minoru's weight. Time bombs just explode when hitting anything. On her back, they also don't really do much. When blocking, you can actually block the explosions from her hands, but not her back. Cooking pots. Y yeah, I didn't really expect much either. Each type of emitter drains at the same rate, one battery every 8 seconds. They can even be activated for Minoru's back, and last for 1 minute 7 seconds before disappearing. One thing I missed in the last episode is that using a flame emitter on a Goron will give you a response, letting you know that they're not impressed by your fire. Rito are also surprised to give her responses for frost emitters. Hydrants drain one battery every 50 seconds, and last for a minute and 7 seconds before disappearing. While it would be cool if you could, you can't pair this with a shock emitter for extra damage. Before we go any further, I want to point out the Zana devices that don't really do much, just so they're out of the way. Steering sticks. Sleds. Batteries, for some reason. Stabilizers. Stakes. And construct heads. These all consume little to no energy, and have no unique properties when fused to Minoru. Both types of wheels don't really do much on Minoru's hands and back. But the wheel on the back can actually hit objects. It lasts for 1 minute 7 seconds, and the drain rate is so low, it doesn't even consume a single battery before despawning. So I'll just say it's 1 energy cell every 33 seconds. Springs, when fused to Minoru's hands, ragdoll enemies and send them flying, with larger enemies being knocked back. The springs on the front do last for 10 hits, but one fused to Minoru's back lasts forever, and only does a single point of damage, shown by me hitting this Aracuda with only 2 health. Cannons can be shot from the arms and the back, consuming 90% of an energy cell with each shot. It expires after being shot 20 times. This actually makes Minoru better for mining instead of a regular weapon, since strong weapons like standard royal weapons only last about 15 shots before breaking. Neat. Hover stones on Minoru's back don't really do much, and so does one on her back. At first glance. When used mid-air, it will grant a sort of super strong slow fall effect and she even does a little walk when moving around. It consumes a battery every 50 seconds and lasts for 1 minute 7 seconds. Lights on Minoru aren't very practical. Yeah, you can aim the light, but why would you do that when Minoru already aims her headlight wherever you're aiming? I suppose it's alright for her back, letting you see things behind you, if anything. Like the Hoverstones and others, it drains one battery every 50 seconds and lasts for a minute and 7 seconds. 
Mirrors on Minoru's hands only reflect light when attacking, and can be activated from the back. If you're wondering, no, you can't cheese light puzzles this way. You still need to have a source of light for the mirrors to work. In terms of the time limit, you can probably guess how long they last. Lastly, we have homing carts. Yeah, they don't do much. 50 seconds and 1 minute 7 seconds. And that seems to be everything. I'm not sure why so many Zana devices last specifically 1 minute 7 seconds on Minoru, but my guess is that it has something to do with some weird math. Especially since the majority of ones that last for a minute and 7 seconds are the ones that last 30 minutes. Thanks for watching, please subscribe for more episodes, and I wish you all a good time zone.